Do you see this video yet? Underworld's biggest mummy, Port of Skull, Halloween City. That guy is hot. Dude, we yeah. gotta watch this again. Underworld's biggest mummy, Port of Skull, Halloween City. <laughs> Dude, yeah! Have you guys seen this one yet? Is it this one? I think it's that. It must be the same video. I like the way he talks. It's so mysterious, but I don't know any additional details about the show. What are you watching? I can't tell. Is he promoting something? It just got schmo yo hoed. Underworld's biggest mommy. Port of Skull, Halloween City. Yo! Caleb Pitts? From podcast about Liz, just dropped an awesome new video. The Whoa! Yep. Your wow. hat, man. Where'd you get this? Huh? The strap on the side is that. Nice. What's the up? podcast about Liz and Pierce and Home Planet made a sketch show called World's Biggest Army Port of Call Guanas. I wonder if this has anything to do with that. There's a beat. Have you seen this? It's taking place on October 20th at Littlefield. This is a whole new edit that's happening. Let me see that video. Let me see that. Let me two edits at once. That was pretty good. Wait a minute. What does he say in the video that we love? Um, Underworld, biggest, 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 I'm changing the calendar to October. Let's see what it is. Okay. <laughs> Let's see which fireman is on the well, calendar this September. month. Uh huh. Let's see. Thomas. Ooh. Missed out on him. How old is he? 16. Uh, yeah. Oh, his underwear says help puppies. Whoa. Hashtag help puppies. puppies. Remember that? Did you guys remember? Oh, puppies. puppies on wrestling. The good old guy. I don't remember that. Wait, hey, they got a big boy. Whoa, Jordan. Jordan. Whoa. South Metro. Can you read okay. the text? It says this hashtag wall, help puppies. They all scary. say all of their underwear says hashtag help puppies. They all have the help puppies underwear. Yeah, I need some of that underwear. I wonder who made that. Like PSD. Honestly, or if Ethica. I had if I had underwear that said hashtag help puppies, I would be sagging <laughs> all day every day, mm -hmm. constantly. I'm gonna that be was, real. That was good. It, it looks good like one. Jordan at South Metro has been eating a little too much candy this <laughs> October. He's, He's not, bulking. not quite He's as bulking. shredded He's as bulking. the rest of these Completely. firefighters, man. No. So no. if so if the house is on fire and he comes up to pull you out of bed, you say, mm -mm. "No, because he's trying to find Send. my candy stash." Exactly, under he's, my he, bed. he runs yeah. in as fast as possible, <laughs> opens the fridge. Uh -huh. Everybody <laughs> else is, or he comes out. He's got like a giant log of salami that he's oh fireman carrying over his shoulders. Yeah, yeah. I know he's been. taking it from my house sees, as a tip. He sees some smoke coming from someone's backyard and he runs back there, pretending he's going to put out a fire, but he's grabbing the meats off the grill. It's brisket. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's a thankless job. I do this every day. Do you have to tip firefighters? No, but that's is what it, I was is it thinking. Polite? That's what I was thinking. Do you think like a firefighter ever like you know while they're saving somebody out of their house or whatever, like they're throwing a bucket of water around and shit? That's what they do. Do you? Here's the thing. I, you I think feel they like take this, stuff. This has to have been talked about, right? Yeah. That in a comedy sense, so to speak, in an essence, that a firehouse, you're just getting paid. First of all, after 9/11, my dad was like. Fuck firefighters. Yeah. Because <laughs> he, he was a city worker and he was like, all yep. these fucking fight. He's like, first of all, they all work like two days a week and then they pull scab jobs the rest of the week. They're fucking building decks and shit. They don't do anything. Mm. And he was like complaining that like all they do is like sit around the firehouse making spaghetti, getting you fucking better be, drunk all You better day. be careful. My Uncle Bobby, he's a firefighter. I got a, I got a cousin firefighter. Yeah. And my dad would say this to his face. <laughs> That's badass, dude. It does seem like. They get to ride the pole. They get, get to, to yeah, the pole. They get paid to you ride just the get pole. to hang out with your friends all fucking day. The pole can't, I can't be imagine that much that. faster than the stairs. No, if you're running down the stairs. That's such a 1920s like faster. We got a pole. <laughs> <Yeah, we're laughs> <laughs> Some guy. Uh, I need Shave to get in my cool car off. now. I need to be in my truck immediately. Yeah. I I uh I do feel like it, the when you're like 17 you don't know what the fuck to do with your life instead of doing the military you should just be a firefighter. That's what yeah. yes. There's yeah. zero chance of you being ever fire, dying. Oh my god, being a firefighter is literally the midpoint between joining the military or running away to join the circus. You're right. The yeah. pole, the pole, <laughs> the, the pole, pole, the fire truck, yeah. like the clowns. <laughs> yeah, you're so fucking right. It literally yeah. is. That's what you do if you can't decide. And there's a dog you get to play with mm -hmm. all day. You, you and all dog. your you and all your coworkers own a dog named Spot. Yeah. 
Name spot that because gets of his chill. spots. Because of his spots. You get uh-huh. to do calendars. And not only that, oh my God. gay, straight, bi, Latino, white, black, all people turned on by firefighters. Yeah. True. Yeah. You true. have to true. rescue true. me. Everybody or you get pan. <laughs> all the firefighters. Every fight, there's first pan firefighter. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Do you think this is going to be, it probably isn't now, but do you think in 10 or 20 years, this is going to start being a serious? Oh, 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 my God. It's a fire a truck. A siren is. going off they right now. Are you guys heard us house, talking firehouse? shit. Yeah, we're pretty close to one. Basically, this podcast studio is a like alternative right, that's comedy firehouse. firehouse that's ba- yeah. It is basically a, if you live in a firehouse, it's a fantasy factory. Yeah, you have foam pits, you have unlimited snacks, you get to do yeah. whatever you want. They're smoking weed. I learned you have lockers. You have lockers. What's that mm-hmm. about? You dude? should you should watch a little show called Rescue Me because I learned that sometimes my dad's they have favorite depression. Show. Same with my mom. My dad said Rescue yeah. Me changed his life. Rescue <laughs> Me and Sons of Anarchy. My mom loved everything on FX. Yeah, I mean. I, w- I was doing this joke for a little bit. Didn't really go over it too well, but I guess it'll probably go over better on a podcast mm. um, of um, this like this holiday season. Go home to your uncles and your dads and tell them, did you hear they're rebooting Rescue Me? <laughs> and like, no, I didn't. And be like, yeah, they're rebooting it, but it's an all uh, NB non-binary cast. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the fucked up part. Dennis Leary is switching over to NB uh, to, to God, still be the dude. lead. Because he's got the haircut. Yeah. (laughs) He does does look like... I when I was a kid I got him and Glenn Close confused all the time. <laughs> Thought they were the same person. He really is like a. Uh, it's such a misstep if you're. We got a lot of Irishness on the pod right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you are Irish, you cannot for one second think that you look hot or cool. No. 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 This is the no. worst. We, thing we have ever. something wrong with us. There's something in the back of your head all the time that is like you. You have to. You have to put it in the back of your head and say like I look like a piece of shit right now. I God, God said we need we need people dead in the first five minutes of every war. Yeah, and he mm-hmm. created that. <laughs> yeah, we need a, somebody's got to be on the front. Even line. even I feel like Irish people, like hot Irish celebrities, all still looked at like they maybe yeah, got Killian burned. Murphy that looks looks like fucking guy, that fucking guy from the Killing of the Sacred Deer. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. He literally looks like they reconstructed his face. Yeah, this is like a Rogan, huh? Yeah, it is exactly. We do have a Jamie. Yeah, whatever that guy's name is, Hoban Go. Yeah. Hoban Go. You know, I know exactly yeah. the guy you're talking. He Who the looks fuck like is, a, oh Barry Keegan. Yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Who's this? He looks like a changeling. He you, lo- Barry Keegan played the Joker in the new Batman. Will you look up Barry Keegan Batman. for real? We need to see, and he has a bad spelling of his name. Yeah, yeah just search Barry. Oh, there it is. Oh, he's the first one. He's got an O in it. Key Hogan. Look at this guy, dude. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, he looked like he the elf on the shelf come to life. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Look, they even tried to hot him up. They even yeah. put him in underwear. Yeah, they put him yeah. in pink underwear. Buddy, it looks like he got four bellies. I mean, mm-hmm. this is their this is that country putting their best forward. Yeah, this yeah. is their absolute top of the and line. we and we were there together. Yeah, we, we had a little a little <laughs> rendezvous. We had a rendezvous, and I remember thinking like everyone. First of all, everyone in North Ireland looks like Mr. Beast. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That would be hard for me. <laughs> Everybody in Ireland was yeah, get so excited. ugly. It kind of blew my mind. It you was weird because there were people. Ugly. There were. So, I mean, yeah. What I was saying before is like I. Feel, I feel like obviously I think on average I feel people like are all the guys here. All the guys the, look fucked. Yeah. Yeah. How about the, the but girls? But there were. I saw yeah. maybe like I feel like three of the fattest people I've ever saw in my life <laughs> were in Ireland. But yeah, they all they eat is like carvery and shit. Yeah. Well, that's what you said. That will stick with me forever. That you said that they eat Thanksgiving every day. (laughs) 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 You said every restaurant is Thanksgiving food. It's so crazy, man. It really blew my mind how they live over there. Yeah. I think think they're so cool. They do think they do. We have beer, y'all. Yeah, we have a we we we're oppressed. No, you're not, man. No. I'm done with this shit. I'm I'm a hundred percent Irish or close to it. You're if not. You round no, up. no, no. We did your results on the air. I don't. I we I did a twenty three and me episode. What are you? Hundred percent Irish. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah are you shot. also a hundred percent? I think I'm twenty five percent English. Yeah. yeah. Wait, I think no, it, that's it, good. I think that's good. Yeah. I you think, think that, that's good? Yeah. I just remembered that, that because of the Civil War shit. I don't think that. I got I got full citizenship though. Uh, In Ireland, lucky. yeah, foreign birth registry. Lucky. What the hell? How does that work? They're desperate for. Citizens. Yeah. If your grandma, if you can trace back your lineage, I can't. Yeah. Wait, really? Two generations. Yeah, you you get citizenship. It's two generations, right? <clears throat> uh, I think so. You get passport, and then. Um, if my mom gets a passport, 
Because she can she can trace it back two generations, but like then I two think generations I'm the ago, somebody had to be in Ireland. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, my mom's my grandma. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have, have that, that shit. That. There ain't no shot. Probably like yeah. four or five. Maybe. I think it's like t- I think me my entire lineage is Irish people fucking each other in America for like the last two hundred years. Yeah, mm-hmm. just like shitty poor Irish people. We went back and visited the family. And like saw the like little one car garage that like both sides <laughs> of the family like lived in. That's amazing. Everybody like hobble. jerking off. They got a year each other. Did you meet anybody? It is, yeah, I did. I met the family, and they're uh, they're fine. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you expect like yeah. something like oh my god. And Be careful because like, mm, they're yeah. listening to this. They are listening. <laughs> they're they're watching this. They're watching and listening right now. I what? did. I like. I googled the the village that like my dad was like. Oh yeah, our family is from like this village, and I looked it up. And yeah, you, I feel like you kind of expect to be like, oh wow, this like it's like Ireland, but it's just like a it's a town. It's a shitty town. Yeah, it's a shitty town. Yeah. Yeah. It's a village. In my head, it probably it it looks probably like exactly like northern New Hampshire. I, I'm imagining that my my family lived in like Elden Ring world. Hmm. Well, that's Ireland. the thing. You you go overseas and you don't realize, like in Italy, they still have to have a gas station. So yeah. yeah, they still go to the grocery yeah, store. Yeah, there's still just like random shit that I looks terrible. Irish comic Shane Glyph. Uh, Hold on, Clifford <laughs> Shane Glyph. <laughs> Shane Glyph. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Shane Glyph. Clearly, yeah, no, don't I know totally that. Do. He's a guy you're making and He looks up. just like him. <laughs> you're making this yeah, guy up no on the spot. There's no such thing as Shane Glyph. <laughs> a sh- a Shane Clifford. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah right. I know about that guy. Uh, and he was uh, a manager of a grocery store in like Western Ireland, and um, yeah, it just sounds horrible. <laughs> <One> <laughs> <Isle>. Like his <laughs> existence was horrible. Just fucking managing the media light yeah. and flour. They all live in them. They, they live in some of the most beautiful land in the world, and they all hate it because they've been there. Like, and also, it sucks. It's rainy every day. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to live there, man. I won't Everyone live there. Talks weird. I refuse to. Hey, if you try to get me to live there, not gonna do uh, it. Uh, not happening. They also no. don't have a, a. Again, they don't have like a, a great entertainment export. Right? There's no like. They have bag. Nope. Not they don't even <laughs> Except for bag. Pipes. They don't have bag pipes well, that either. either. That's Scotland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're right. They don't even have dry British comedy. Exactly. They have yeah. this kind of wet comedy, kind of Mrs. Brown's boys. They do have the. I mean, like they're the only country to like uh, recognize Palestine. Mm-hmm. That is true, but they're a little too proud of it. They're a little bit. They're a little, too, like, a little dude, too, us That was too. one of the first things our tour guide told us. Is like, yeah, and in Ireland, like we kind of we believe in the underdog. So yeah, we all support Palestine over here. <laughs> but okay. I think that there's there's <laughs> cool. something like you know your your uncle who's like a uh, construction worker or whatever, and he's like, I'm actually a lib. Oh yeah, God, like yeah, there's yeah. that energy. So it's like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll support just, yeah. you. It's crazy to say it like as a country, like yeah. So in this country, we actually support that. Support yeah. it, calling it, saying it, supporting the underdog yeah, too. I, I know. Think <laughs> it's fucking nuts. I think that I I've had a couple of family members that have become like after Trump become like Democrats, and I think I would have rathered them stay like yeah. fully. Yeah. yeah, my mom now loves Pete Buttigieg, uh, and she used to say that. Uh, Obama was using swine flu to put <laughs> Christians in FEMA camps. <laughs> and then 10 years later, she's like, Pete Buttigieg is awesome. He reminds me of Subway. My, my <laughs> family my family fucking loves Pete, too. Yeah. What is that about, man? Well, it's because they get to be like, star on my shirt, I voted for a gay guy. Yeah. 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 Which, I mean, he's not even gay. No. He's no. fucking pussy left Exa- and right. He mm-hmm. loves it, dude. He's at the Elysian every night in the L.A. Sto- yeah. <laughs> he's with Frank Gelman. The stories that I've heard, <laughs> the stories I've heard about Pete Buttigieg. First, was, well, first of all, he's eating ass and working the clit and going with that. <laughs> that's why just people thought he was soak, gay. Just soaking down mm-hmm. his arm. Just, yeah. Yeah. I've heard that he, he'll he book an Airbnb and he'll put a sign on the outside of the door that says no boys allowed. He uh-huh. always walks he literally around. has 12 girls in there. <laughs> he literally walks around East East L.A., Walking around with it looks like he just finished like eating a watermelon like a cartoon. <laughs> it's just like dripping down his yeah, and he gets the in the elevator with someone and he says and he says, Smell my finger, arms, and chest. <laughs> 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 Smell my leg up to my knee. <laughs> He's he's going up. He's not my butt. <laughs> he's telling these twelve butt. girls. It smells like a girl's mouth. It smells like pussy. Like pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking a girl with my butt. Here's what I, here's what I was thinking. P. 
Pete's got a concave chest, uh-huh. and he's telling the girls, like, you sit on my face and you don't leave until it's filled <laughs> with, with nut, with female nut, and then I want all the other girls to suck it. <laughs> he's crazy, man. Yeah, dude. I he need to, uh, fully, completely. He has a Sibian that he has on wheels that he. <laughs> can you he's imagine? Got a van, he he's got a like van a that's got a Sibian in the back. Yeah. <laughs> can you imagine how bad Camp David would have smelled if he had been elected president? Oh, oh my, my God. God! So much pussy walking left and right. Mm-hmm. Secret Dude. Service like assassinating people. I'm gonna go public that he's straight and he made me come harder <laughs> than anyone else. Blow your, dick off, <laughs> blow your dick off, Robocop, bowing. He has an 18 yeah. inch dick. I heard that too. Huge dick. <laughs> He has one leg. <laughs> he's like FDR. He yeah, walks like he has, FDR yeah. with his yeah. penis. So he's got that blan- <laughs> He's always got a blanket on his lap. <laughs> so no one, no one, <laughs> he doesn't Here's want anyone to know he's hard all the time. He's like, I'm he's only addicted into, to blue shoes. Not only is he straight, he's like the most perfect type of straight. He's only into like 35 and above. Women. Yeah. He's like, I don't, f- and he's Burnettes. like, I don't, yeah. yeah. Cheetah bra. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. He did. They do the the Drake bra thing at the Pete Buttigieg concert. Oh yeah. Oh my God. You should see the bras that Buttigieg has in his basement. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. just his basement looks like a like a bar in Florida where they like staple bras. To yeah. Them. Yeah. It's yeah. just dollar bills and bras <laughs> yeah. stapled all across. I remember the being like a ceiling. kid in places like that and being like, this place is awesome. <laughs> like my Hooters. version of that. Yeah. Yeah. I never. My Not my Hooters, parents never you, took me there. I feel like there's always like your there's like a place where it's like this is a scuzzy like yeah yeah, yeah. my mom yeah. used to take me to this bar to play pool she would just play pool and I would uh and drink and I would sit there and there was they had my version of it was they had uh flat bill hats stapled oh, all yeah. across the top I was like this is paradise I would Trying sit there and look at all the hats you ever went to to Charlie's in Harvard Square no that was where my family my Charlie's Steaks in the mall in no. the square no no no, 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 no. <laughs> no do you guys have beer garden. where you're oh, from okay. I know you there's none in New England really but what? in the Midwest is there bikini uh, barista places no not bikini barista places but there was a place called Krabby Kim's on Western Avenue that was next door to like the last arcade that ever existed and they had bikini girls and my dad knew Kim whoa <laughs> wow. my dad was oh, Kim? the Krabby Kim and then it Woman became and then, and then Krabby Kim had like a long prolonged death <laughs> or, my, or my dad was like one of the only people that was like taking care of him. He's like, I gotta go. Oh uh, my god, go to Kim's. Kim's all the, everybody who <laughs> owns wow. a local Cavalier business, and, uh, everyone who owns a local business dies the most atrocious way <laughs> yeah. possible. And you and it's so public. You see him like shaking. Dude, and there was like, this guy who ran this paintball field in North Carolina. So obviously he's fucked. He's gonna die in the most awful way. In and a paintball he, accident. He, he had he had diabetes. He ate the paintballs. He had diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> and then he uh, lost both of his legs. Oh. And then, he, but he wore like prosthetic legs to drive. Yeah. And then he died. Uh, he was taking a van full of kids to a a oh, Jesus. <laughs> paintball competition. And he had a heart attack while he was driving. Did he, did he like crash? I think it wasn't like a bit. He was like at a stop sign or some mm. shit. It was like not, nobody got right. injured except for him except dying. mentally, maybe. Yeah. Jesus. And some yeah. kid was like, yeah, it looked like he got shot by a sniper <laughs> while he was driving. Oh. <laughs> they took him out. Would you? He was training kids for a militia at the paintball. Yeah, yeah. Then, they were yeah. using the big, like the paintball guns they had in Child's Play Three that looked like real guns. If yeah. you own a barbecue place, you get struck by lightning. Yeah. It's that simple. It's man. the worst because you're so fucking stressed all the time, and you're, you're right. like, I'm. I need to make thirty cents this month, or I am like gonna have to kill myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's There's like a, the margins are so thin. Yeah. There's a bakery in my town that exploded. Really? Oh my God. No, I think somebody maybe got hurt. I don't think anyone died, but it fully it blew up. Wow. Like windows crazy. blowing out of the front type that of thing? That was insurance Fire, money. Fireball. That was an insurance money scam. With Greek lightning? Fire, uh, what's up? Greek lightning? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a tribute across the street. But I remember uh, it was called Olin's Bakery, and I remember I saw after it happened, I saw somebody driving around with a bumper sticker that said Bush did Olin's. <laughs> wow. That's, that's actually funny. Olin's that's pretty, pretty funny. Huh? Olin's fans. Was that just kind of a play? Oh, oh, yeah, I just got okay. it. Oh, oh, shit. Okay. Bush. Okay, I got it. Oh, we'll just say Bush. Now, now that bumper sticker would say Olin's fans. Yeah. yeah. True. That could and be good. Would have a lot of with this the, stuff. the logo. It would be everything. interesting. Yeah. All these beautiful women on the computer. There's oh. this There's this place in... Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> I think did I take you guys to Flame and Amy's when you came? Yes, you did. We did that, go to Flame and Amy's. That place Amy's. used to be so sexually charged. Yeah, where it had like bikini photos all over the world. Well, that's because you live near the beach, like me and Cameron. I, I there was yep. no. There's if more, you were, there if you got sexual, if, if you got sexual in New England, it was like it was over. For they you. would spray you with a hose. You can't be sexual you on cannot, a New England beach. No, no, no. It's not possible. Not even. I mean, Hampton what, Beach what? is like that's people do that there, and it's like that's why everyone calls it the Walmart Beach. Bro, I remember fucking on Revere Beach. Yeah. Oh, oh, getting a Kelly's gosh. roast beef, put your dick in that. <laughs> just on those rocks. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't be sexual. You can't have like a. Well, it's all you it's know. Just, there's leftover puritanism. In the south, the water is too gross. South, it's, it's nicer. In the south, it's it's too hot down there. So they're like, well, I got to take off my clothes anyway. But up north, it's like, well, it's you, a bunch of rocky a, beaches. You, you guys are a don't witch have, if you take your clothes. You guys off. don't have surfers. Yeah, we have that surfers either. And on the Cape, there was this girl I not, knew. Not as much, probably, but there was this girl I knew who was. She would surf. She was a big surfer, and she was like. She looked like a wallet, like she had the most <laughs> fucked up skin of all time. And she, I caught I, two different times I pulled up to her at a red light and I saw her smelling her armpits. <laughs> just like driving and just taking two big whiffs. This happened two different times. That's allowed. That's, that is you cool. You can do that in your own car. It's just like a different kind of person I don't see up here. Speaking you didn't of, fall in love instantly? Like when you no. saw like a girl being as dumb as you, you didn't feel like, okay, maybe we should. If she had like. Yeah. If she had both of her hands, you know how when you sit at your house, you put both your hands on your balls when you watch TV? <laughs> I put my pinky on my balls. I have just one. The pinky, just the pinky. Yeah, just the pinky in there. Pinky through the waistband. I call I, it Dr. Evil. I, my <laughs> wife did not understand that for many years, that I watch TV, if I'm wearing boxers, both of my hands holding mm -hmm. my balls. So put on I, a fucking episode of uh, Married with Children. Mm -hmm. Exactly. exactly. I want to see what the Bundys are doing. I, I hold my balls to Jeopardy. I'm yeah. doing it in case there's a nuclear blast and I yeah, have you're, at least that's a your buzzer. Bit of cushion. Yeah. You're, you're, you're <laughs> ever, squeezing you ever your balls because like, it's the buzzer. Yeah. Do you ever kind of like take your balls and like hold it up like a sheet and then <laughs> yeah, scratch yeah. it like chicken that? Chicken skin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. chicken thighs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. From uh, waiting. Yeah. What a oh, yeah, waiting. Yeah, the, the brain. Deadpool. The, well, the, the, brain. the owner brain. of Mint Mobile. Uh-huh. Star of waiting. And the owner This fucking guy. Aviation Gin. Aviation Gin. Let's I want to see him like personally cancel people's accounts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> being like, you know, I don't fucking care. <laughs> you, fucking, you better can't pay, pay the bills. You should have paid. Like, yeah. This is Ryan. And then he Reynolds, looks into the camera. We looks have into sent the camera. Your account to collections. He says, like, um, this is what happens when you don't pay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, Jimmy Chunga. I want to hang out with him so bad. Get so I don't fucked know up on Deadpool Aviation quotes. Gin. Make Mint Mobile prank calls to people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yes. So you know, he has the alert. binder with all the phone oh, numbers. Uh -huh. <laughs> A binder. <laughs> yeah. You send out the alerts to every single person's account that says your phone will self destruct in five minutes. And you then the Deadpool yeah. logo a, pops up. Oh, we well, listening the to the phone calls. That said that there was a nuclear bomb <laughs> dropping. Only the Mint Mobile people got that. Oh, my God. He could do some epic pranks with Mint Mobile and you're just wasting. It. If you in the this bill, phone, every you month? Are gay. Damn. Mm. Alert. That's not a good selling Amber tactic, alert. There is a mm. guy <laughs> who's like, you guy holding this phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you guys see the video where Jim Carrey talks about he was in Hawaii when the nuclear like alert went out like a couple years ago? <laughs> no. And it pissed me off so badly, man. He was like, yeah, I got the nuclear alert, nuclear alert on my phone. And I was at such peace just knowing that I was going to pass away and I had the most amazing life ever. Well, like, imagine he's finally going to escape imagine retribution. You're like running away. For what he's done. <laughs> you're like running to whatever the newest, or the, the, the closest like nuclear uh, uh, basement, whatever that is. Yeah. Thing Fallout is. shelter. Fallout Bunker. shelter. Yeah. And you see Jim Carrey just like sitting there. Yeah, sitting. <laughs> just so. You'd Smiling. be like, he's got to know something that You've we seen don't. His videos That's what I'm He's completely, right? he's, oh, yeah. he's, he he's would be so happy if he died without anybody finding out what he has <laughs> done. True. That's a very good to point. His, yeah. yeah. To everybody in his but life. But he also said he was there with his daughter and he was like, yeah, she was freaking the fuck out. But I was just sitting <laughs> there. Chill. Chill. Just Shut the I fuck was making up. funny faces to calm this her down. Is all, this is all, you have no idea. This is all fantastic. To see. He's That's his so whole thing. Yeah. I heard he was there to paint a palm tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was there to practice painting painting palm trees. on the palm tree or paint a paint palm a tree on a canvas. Do you remember he was painting a picture of Ronald Reagan? Do you remember in like 2018 he posted a, a photo, a painting that he made of Trump as Darth Maul? <laughs> 
That's sick. It uh, genuinely, I did want to buy it so bad. Trumpet like CPAC with Darth Maul makeup on. Oh my god, that'd be incredible. <laughs> going he, this off. is Jim Carrey is the guy that uh, the Dali image generator is taking jobs away from. Yes. Yes. he yeah. is the one guy who is painting yeah. shit like Trump as Darth Maul. Uh-huh. And he's getting put out of work <laughs> yeah. by the AI images, and the AI is training on his images yeah. too. <laughs> You can type in the Dolly 3 right now. You can type in, uh, like, Trump eating poop in the style of Jim Carrey, and it yeah. comes up. Well, they won't do eating poop, as you found out. Oh, you have yes. to say eating mud. Yeah, you have to say a messy mud pie. Mud pie? Yeah, messy Wait, mud we pie. Had, we had some Trump as Darth Maul. Is there yeah. a photo of him? I don't know if there's the paint. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. Well, there's <laughs> Jim Carrey. Where, wait, which one? I, was, I dude, think if you I click that article, such, it'll show up. When I was in first grade, I watched... Pet Detective a thousand times. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Of course. Oh, well, it doesn't have. Oh, my God. They took it down. They took, they it took it down. down the picture. Wait, wait, well, wait. Who did? Click who the was picture. In, who was in power pick when dot Twitter. this got taken down? Who was oh in my power? God. I don't know, man. Got taken is, off of X as I can't well, believe man. we figured this out. Just I now. think this Carrie. Is going on. This is sad as fuck. So Type what it are into your the Wayback Machine. I'm all in on X. I bought a bunch of stock. Yes. I've been Xing all day. I just uh, constantly Xing. I X like it's 2009. Like, got a sandwich today. Like, <laughs> you okay. might, you might like doing like pedophile on jokes. X. Like X, you know, 2009 yeah. pedophile jokes. Just trying to be epic on the computer nonstop. What, what, give me an example of a 2009 pedophile joke it's, you're doing. It's like, I'm a pedophile. <laughs> I'm a pedophile, said no one ever. <laughs> <laughs> that actually, can you? And then you reply to it and say, Except for pedophiles. Except, yeah. for, yeah. except for pedophiles, which is a serious problem And then 10 years later, you have, to, you have to make some post yeah. under that one. That's yeah. like, I don't understand what this I means. Did not mean I don't even remember <laughs> posting this at the time. I think I got hacked. I think I, think I was actually... <laughs> hacked me. Honestly, I was probably off that scissor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I was, yeah. That's it. All, those, all those posts of like comedians from 2008 where they're being racist and they just respond like, the opioid epidemic has affected us all. <laughs> At the time, I had just heard, I, had, I had broken my big toe. I learned what Percocet was. They at a sent party. me home with four thousand pills, and I just started microblogging. I y'all. figured out if you crush the oxys and cook them, you can shoot it just like heroin. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, sorry, not sorry. And here's how you smoke oxys off a tin foil. Have you guys ever taken a bunch of barbiturates or downers? No, I've taken. Uh, I used to steal, not steal really, I used to just take Oxy out of the medicine cabinet in my house because my mom hurt her leg when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, d- I just did it a bunch, but I didn't like it. It was just funny to do drugs. How many did you do? Just take like one. Oh, well, yeah, do it, yeah, you're just taking what the doctor has said yeah. to do. Yeah, I did. I would take one, and it would make me really tired. And I just then had, I had one a, beer. What the fuck? I'm I supposed had, to be drunk. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I did that too. I had a space heater, and I, what I would do is I would take one of the oxys, and then I would sit in my bed and put the space heater under the blanket. Insane <laughs> fire hazard. And I would just like cook myself for three Dude, hours. It's like three asleep. different things you're supposed to like. <laughs> yep. Parental supervision. Steal a Mike's Hard lemonade. Yeah. Sit down there. One oxy. Mike's Hard. Space yeah. heater. Fall asleep listening to a Pete Holmes podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Rainy day, y'all. Co- Ooh, I'm cozied up. Yeah. I'm listening to You Made It Weird, the John Glazer episode where he gets mad about the E Trade baby. Yep. Damn, that was pretty epic. We that was need weird. More, I've been saying pretty this for, weird. for a while. Pretty we need weird. to bring. We need to have more like comedy drama like that mm-hmm. yeah we need just more for the beef. wax you know what i mean yeah. yeah yeah we need more beef we need more like i feel like the guy i feel like the only people who are still beefing like that is like the the comedy mothership guys down yeah. in austin texas mm. and so like all that stuff is like such a mirror of like you you got you drank my special bourbon like yeah my, exactly like, yeah kind of like what my brother and his friends are beefing yeah over. exactly yeah. you drank a, my the horse's tail bourbon that i had <laughs> in my cabinet you know, you're not oh, that, so, you don't touch, eighty dollars. You don't touch Bert's bourbon. No, no. no. Uh-uh. I mean, you've obviously, you know, I've seen more videos of these people than I've spent time with my father in like the past five years. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I'm so aware of like Bert's drinking and what needs to happen with it. Do you watch yeah. Too Lazy to Try? Uh, no, I might. It's that YouTuber that just like he goes over all yes, the drama. He does yes, the commentary. He the, <laughs> yeah. We love him. All right. We, so basically, I watch what this is, dude, if, you, if you're shout out to Lizzie uh-huh. Trump, he makes uh, he makes these videos where he's like always saying like these people are stupid, fuck these people, but it's clear that he listens to every yeah. single. Yeah. He's like in hell. Yeah, he has to listen to every like single he, one. Of he, he listens to every single one. Good. 
Yeah. Yeah. He it is yeah, from yeah, a place yeah. of love. It's he's like, like he's a fan. So and he's Theo Vaughn and Brendan Schaub are officially beefing because Theo went on this podcast and didn't even acknowledge him, which yeah. I don't even know why he would do that. That's every single video. <laughs> I want to he be has the to, subject. He has like to a, make them. I think he's he's like a a, a more evolved human being where he I is think a, he has a historian he's, no he's like a uh he's like a parasite of like he has to live <laughs> inside of these guys <laughs> yeah brains or he also will die yeah this I isn't think. one he's way also to probably i mean we should i think he's making money off of these videos yeah oh yeah right? yeah he's, yeah, got, he's a got a patreon where he details like, on like it, the craziest the craziest stern clips and stuff i've been going the best stern clips on old stern oh, me too Do you think that if this the if the like burt kreischer documentary guy wasn't doing that and wasn't making money off that he would be like a like a civil war historian or something. yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing he, he just, just loves the american history. archives and like yeah, yeah like, he just, like, like he's if, a big history buff like if kafka was alive now he would just be like trying to fuck people in, in Ridgewood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be doing like weird tweets. Everyone, uh, I got, never I right starting to a bug. Uh, I'm going to stand in front of this girl's apartment for the next three hours <laughs> acting like a bug. Somebody's I'm dressed up like a spider. <laughs> I'm acting like a bug. <laughs> Sam, trying to climb uh, up the building. <laughs> instead of writing one of the most epic, weird, crazy. It was odd. Uh huh. It's really have you I read it recently. What the uh, the transformation? Yeah. Yeah. The metamorphosis. 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 It's I read really it, funny. I read it last year. Yeah, it is funny. I, I read, read the, all the I read like his collection of short stories. I bought it. Yeah. It was cool, it. man. Yeah. yeah. I, um, He's just a classic pervert weird guy yeah. alone in his room. You know that he was all the all the best authors were per, huge perverts. Oh yeah, and yeah. alcoholics. You ever think about? There's yeah. all this stuff coming out about alcohol recently, where they say it's bad for you. Blame it on the uh, 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 alcohol. There was that. That was the beginning. That was the beginning. Beginning of the end. And then this fucking piece of shit Andrew Huberman started saying, "Yeah, it's bad to drink alcohol." People you gotta get drunk to every day, all day. That's yes. what I'm saying. Especially yeah. if you're doing comedy. But uh-huh. how how were every? I had a couple every... drinks on the drive over here. <laughs> Thank God, dude. You think Otherwise that's Canada? You think that's straight Canada dry? Mm-hmm. No, uh-uh. mm-hmm. pure oh, aviation gin up in there. Canada yeah. wet. Canada wet. Damn. Canada <laughs> wet. Completely wet. <laughs> but that's all these old authors. Also, I was talking to somebody about this that they all like were in a studio apartment, and then there was like some like a uh, 15 year old girl would bring them like a, a tray of broth every yeah. day. And yeah. Just like, and then they would be like, ah, I want to marry her. <laughs> and every that every great book was literally written it. because some, yeah, some like 37 year old guy had the most terrifying obsession with another person in uh-huh. the world. Yeah. yeah. It's all, and it's always either, yeah, it's always either like a 13 year old girl who lived across the street from them or it's like a 70 year old guy, but you weren't that they had a crush on, but weren't allowed to be gay. Uh-huh. Yeah. And there is every, every piece of uh, like now porcelain, every- and like all their porcelain mugs had lead paint on the side of them. So they're drinking just straight <laughs> lead. Exactly. <laughs> every but now all, day. everyone who would be, everyone who would be a Melville and a Hemingway or whatever. Now is a Jordan they, Peterson. They, they yes. go on Twitter and they can say, I'm thirsty AF for this guy. <laughs> True. <laughs> they're allowed to publicly be gay on Twitter. Well, they're allowed to, uh, yeah, have multiple personalities yeah, online, yeah. like uh-huh. the, you know, uh, that's why nobody's writing books that are longer than 200 pages anymore. No, that's no, no. Right. damn true. Yeah, but that's what that's the thing, I man. Speak, I, speaking of books that are longer than 200 pages, maybe that's actually it. Oh, you want to talk about? Well, this. I do want to say this about. Uh, <laughs> I was talking to uh, Steve Smith about this about going to like PTA meetings as like a father, getting at like the podium and be like, "Reading fucking sucks." <laughs> <laughs> Just like being like. <laughs> Like kind of like anti groomer, but like for reading, it's <laughs> fucking it sucks. It's stupid. It's boring. Fuck Nobody wants to do it anymore. Gay and stupid. I want the whole library gone. Yeah, <laughs> or at least a place with ban DVDs. all the books. Ban every single one of the books. <laughs> Burn every book. Replace it with too shit. lazy to try video. Yeah. <laughs> too lazy to try, and all the books in the library are going to be replaced with DVDs. Well, that Jackass, was when they first fights, started putting DVDs wrestling. in a library. I said, I like this trend, but then it uh-huh. stopped with eight. Yeah, they never had more than like eight DVDs at my fucking library. They had a crazy array of DVDs at my library. Really, wow. I love to look at them. Was it encroaching on the books? No, they had a whole section. Wow. See, I would like to go to be a library science <laughs> type of person if it yep. was like a basically a blockbuster, but I guess not. Oh, oh wait, I have to say one more thing. We were talking about Stern. Sam sent me a screenshot the other day of somebody. Somebody, put, you know, people just post like videos of Beetlejuice on mm-hmm. Twitter all the yeah, time. Yeah, and somebody Christ. somebody replied under it and was like, who is this guy and what the hell does he have? <laughs> <laughs> he sent me a screenshot, like a YouTube short where somebody is explaining Beetlejuice 
and it's just like the the thumbnail is a photo of Beetlejuice, and the caption is just "What is mentally wrong with him?" <laughs> <laughs> Our goal is to get him on here. Yeah, we want him on. Does he yeah. live in New York? Uh, I think so. Yeah, he okay. lives. He's like he upper, he's an upper street. west side guy. <laughs> yeah. People see him all Yeah, he, he like walks around. He's got a uh, schnauzer. He uh, How come nobody has photo? You know that photo of um, what's his name? Uh, the guy that directed Annie Hall, Woody, Woody, Woody Allen. Allen, Woody Allen, and Epstein. Uh-huh. How come nobody's put Beetlejuice in that photo? <laughs> <laughs> all three of them walking down the street. He, uh, well, if you follow him online, he probably will do that because yeah. he puts himself on like Manny Pacquiao's body. Uh-huh. He does everything. He puts himself uh-huh. on everybody's body. Yeah, yeah, he's All right. pretty beast. Maria okay. Waza, man. So oh yes. Basically, we have something special to show yeah, you, Connor. Have, which oh also, God. our guest today is Connor. Yeah. Tom Allen. What's Welcome up, y'all? Um, so thank you so much for having me. Of course, of course. Do you think? Uh, what does that look? Does this look good? You look. You have a like gum in your hair or something. Yeah. In You're my, trying oh, to give yourself a middle in my part. Hair? In my hair. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I'm going to keep rocking this for a little okay. bit. We did an episode a little while ago, which maybe Julio will find the number right now, but it's about it was about martial arts. Yes. And I found this guy um, who invented his own martial art on- really? online. Yeah. Mm-hmm. His name is Eddie Buitene, uh, and he is he invented a, a martial art call, called Murya Waza, which he calls the way of unlimited techniques. And so we did, if you... We did a, a whole thing about him in this last episode, so if you haven't heard that, you, you uh-huh. want some more background on him, you guys can listen to that. But I, he has, he wrote a book. I ordered this book off Amazon. Jesus it's Christ! It's fucking giant. It's like a textbook. Yeah, what is it with literally is a textbook. Annotation. There is, yeah, I, I there's a quiz. I marked off good parts in here oh to read God. through. There's a quiz um, at the end of the book too. This so, is a book. Murya Waza, the way of unlimited techniques, a guarded, exclusive, and confidential course. Written and illustrated by, gr- and illu- that's the important part. Wait till you see uh, these illustrations. Illustrations are Grandmaster good. Grandmaster founder, the deadliest self defense system in history. This reminds me of the guy that created Spawn. Do you guys yeah. know yeah. him? I've been reading Spawn, yeah. Have you it's, seen any like interviews with this guy? You know the the like clips that that play at the beginning of the like yeah. anime, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is the man. I love him. Wait, what are these clips? What does he do? Where he's like he like introduces all the episodes like he's doing like a Rod Serling monologue uh-huh. kind of, but he's like he's like a very nerdy looking guy and he'll be sitting on a stool in with like a speech a, impediment. Too. In, yeah, yeah, he'll he'll be like in like a his like artist studio but it's got like chains and skulls uh-huh. on the wall and stuff and it'll be like <laughs> like that's what would you do if your best friend raped your wife and you got sent to hell <laughs> <laughs> that's the answer this, or this it'll episode be like, will be answer like, the question yeah swords what would it happen if you got stabbed by one <laughs> <laughs> and every spawn episode opens with one of those yeah that's it's, amazing yeah. dude it's he's a type of guy that just doesn't exist that much anymore like the the really really like they nerdy dude yeah, yeah. The really yeah. nerdy dude who like is super into nine inch nails though, and he's Should wearing like the one. like the spiked collar. Are you a spiked collar guy with Not all the leather collar, jackets? Just nine inch nails guy. Yeah. So this isn't about this is the about the author section as a little recap for Okay, for, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so about the author. Eddie Vuitene is a native of South Texas who primarily writes about particular periods, places, and people within the realm of modern day history. Dr. Vuitene enjoys shit. meticulously dissecting recorded history, especially historical events that are known to have culminated over time and ultimately led to changes in families, societies, cultures, and even civilizations. Uh, the print is so big. It's huge. Yeah, it's giant. <laughs> and it's probably a 200-page book. It's and so he can I would read say it. about 75% of this book is pictures. Yeah. So. Uh, Dr. Vuitene began his writing career as a young man teaching his martial arts style, which he named Murya Waza. As part of the Murya Waza discipline, he wrote numerous instruction manuals and study guides that afforded him a wealth of experience in bringing the written word into formative thought and subsequent technical action. Over time, Eddie was provided the opportunity in the mid-1970s to further sharpen his authoring skills by writing and implementing several traditional and non-traditional youth development-oriented programs for the city of Fresno's community development program. Wait, he's from Fresno? That, Maybe California? Fresno, Texas. He says he's from Texas, South Texas. Oh, yeah. okay. His interest in writing turned toward a more creative form of expression in the 1990s when he began writing fiction, nonfiction, and short stories. And here we find ourselves today. And there's That's, a picture of him. I think. So the thing that we found out about him last time, like the first time we looked into him, was that he was like a, a judge 
who got disbarred <laughs> from yeah. I forget why, but there's, there's like there's a like whole a, thing. It's like the third thing that comes up when you Google his yeah. name is some document about he, he had to resign. And the first and second things are these animations that he's made and like yeah, he covers makes animated of songs movies. that he does. He, he has a bunch of music. Trail, wait a minute. He's uh he's got he makes also like graphics. You can hire him to make graphics for yeah. you. Uh, he's a Fiverr guy. He, he is a Fiverr guy. Is. Dude, yeah. he is. But a he also total invented beast. the most deadliest martial art of all history. <laughs> mm. So here's the core of Muryawaza is victimology, <laughs> and here's how he defines victimology. <laughs> Wait, this, there it is. Sorry, it says right there, January 2004. A complaint was filed with the State <laughs> Commission on Judicial Contact containing allegations of, and then it doesn't say <laughs> what. All right, what does it say? Uh, here's victimology noun. The study of the victims of crime and the psychological effects on them of their experience, that is, if they survive the assault. Holy <laughs> shit. That's the core of I'm sorry, of I was distracted because does he have an album? He has yes, a bunch he of makes albums. Music. Yeah, yeah. He did a, a cover man. of um, Heaven Knows I'm Miserable Now by the Smiths. <laughs> he does a ton of covers. He has some Just a regular music. guy trying to make it in America. That's yeah. Just, no, Eddie Vuitton and the Time Travelers is his band. So and how old is, is he? He is. I th- what, uh, Probably fifty. No, yeah, early, older like than that. that. Older than that, really? Yeah, because he was doing shit in the seventies. I feel like he's. When did this book come out? This book is from twenty twenty one. Wow. Okay, so here's oh, our first cool. illustration. This is. Uh, yeah, I just want to show you. This is the vibe of the illustrations. Victimology. Here. These are these are kind of moves that he teaches people. You can see there's a lot of arrows. He uses a lot of symbols and a lot of animals. Mm. It looks incredible. Yeah, these yeah. are. It's really well done. These are arboreal locomotive hands and body language projections. It looks a little bit like ET. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. I thought that that was a, a photo of ET. I forgot that that's the cobra. I'm, I'm Could you imagine smoking weed with ET? I want oh to so bad, dude. God. Wait a minute. We have the ET mask over there. We can make so, this. <laughs> Let's pause the episode right now, and we're gonna do a two man sketch of. <laughs> Smoking weed with ET. Oh man! <laughs> he he lit, lights up blunt with his finger. Pieces. Cause he's Remember, got the munchies. Is this his? <laughs> he's got the munchies. <laughs> is this a picture of the man? Yeah, yes. that's Eddie. This guy looks like he he looks like he. I just picture him f- like when I see somebody like this, I just instantly picture them fucking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, wait, and you know, like you know, he has the most. Of you, like, <laughs> yeah. He's wearing a weighted vest. To fuck you. <laughs> and you know, he has the most insane farmer's tan of all time. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. His, it's amazing. Yeah, like his arm has like a tumor. Yeah, <laughs> and you know he's going like so here. Oh, yeah, yeah. he like. Oh. I'm gonna teach you guys a new move today. Okay. This willow is leaf? called this is called the willow leaf block. Okay. So I'll read this to you and then I'll, I'll show you the diagram and you, we can maybe try it out and see if I'd this like to try this out. Yeah. So this says Ar- arbor arboreal locomotive hands and then there's a copyright symbol. The willow tree symbolizes faith, hope. It reassures a warrior by its mere presence that there will be a path back to where he or she was before any ensuing battle. Its characteristics and the knowledge of its behavior can provide calmness under fire, calmness in the form of prudent and metered sensations of confidence. Its essence will inoculate in any astute observer a profound feeling of hope and knowing that there will always be healing mentally and physically as he or she emerges on the other side of a battle. Um, And then it it shows here the willow leaf block. It says willow leaf block and then a tiny rotate hand up to 90 degrees horizontally opposite way, negative 90 degrees, windshield action, Elbow can move up and down. Rotate arm and elbow <laughs> vertically like a pendulum back and forth. Leaf, whip like blocks or slaps. Convert to spear hand, caster clock, attack 11 slash 1, or convert to back knuckle, caster clock, attack 12 E or 12 F. At so, so wait, so you're so waving, you, you wave your hand. <laughs> I, I think you need to make a more menacing face. And then you face. also need to hold your other hand like this. For a counter move. Which can convert to a caster spear hand. This oh, actually yeah. could work. Do you think this could be a good technique to yeah, block Yeah, because you, blo- you block this because, okay. You wave your they, hands. They would have to, to have perfect timing to get past this. Yeah. This is, called, you know. this is called wind shield action. So you're making a shield of wind. Is yes. that is a person in the, are they wearing a gator? I think that's supposed to be him, yeah. Uh-huh. It's him with, with shades and a gator. <laughs> the gator is the coolest thing to come out of the pandemic. Oh, absolutely. When you would see a guy with a gator. Is that mm-hmm. what that is? That's what that's called, a gator? Yeah. yeah. Right. Those things are bad. They never they, they never like, fit correctly, so it's always no. like a little baggy, and they have to keep yanking it up. And there was some study that said that like they actually spread COVID. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure. Yeah. I remember that. That well, was like well, the first. The problem week is because like you see them and you're like, "Let me wear that shit right now." Let me try yeah. that. Yeah. On. Let, Let me put that on my on. mouth right now. I literally want the gator. Give me they're that. just breathing all of their COVID germs into like the space between their chin and neck, and then when they take it off and they get home, it just, just releases. Yeah. 
<laughs> full mushroom Pops cloud. out, yeah. yeah. Uh, here's another move. This is an attack move. This okay. is called toss the teacup. <laughs> okay. Oh Do you need a teacup in your hand or no? No, the teacup, I think, is metaphorically uh, yeah. there. The yeah. teacup looks like a cloud of These smoke, maybe. Yeah. It says, These do look like Cole Kush models. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Cole. Yeah, Toss the teacup, lunge and lean body toward the right while twisting at waist clockwise. At same time, toss the, quote, teacup toward the target inverted hand, acts as plate and all. Oh, so the hand is the plate. The hand is the plate. And so the you're holding energy the I just can't help but, like, as soon as you start reading, I just zone out. <laughs> it's crazy, <laughs> man. It's like, whoa. Well, it's ideal <laughs> for a rich hand a... strike to the area under the nose or used also as a rich hand strike to an opponent's throat. So wait a minute, you... So you do, oh oh like I feel like you're like you're throwing a frisbee almost. I think yeah I guess but wow. and then the other hand try this, on the other hand is holding straight up kind of like she has one prayer hand and it says next to it a picture of a knife and it says knife warning oh yeah that's the whole thing with this is that you're trying to project power to yeah. really it's really more about scaring the people yeah and it also says danger keep off on her stomach see that would maybe keep anybody from yeah. from attacking you that might have be you the, seen this, the key here have you seen this like older fatter guy on instagram who like goes into like public spaces and he's like basically like doing that bullshit science of um like body language but for spaces really like uh -huh. being a target and be like okay so what i'm what information i'm receiving here is that there's no cameras above like the children's clothes so that means that this is safe but if you go over to the electronics there's tons of cameras so that's a place it, a lot of shoplifting like it's just kind of like basic feng like shui. feng shui but like he's just noticing yeah. stuff and Q saying it in like a smart shui. yeah yeah, yeah. I have all this QAnon information. I need to switch over to something. Because so. now that that's yeah. over, yeah. I mean, I will. I do feel like we'll get some giant groundswell of amazing art out of the people who are giving, putting all their energy in that for so long. I mean, yeah. Look at this book. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is like fully all the, what QAnon people sublimate into. I feel like, yeah. Once they forget about, yeah. The, I mean, the goat David D's. <laughs> He's dead. Like Hollywood in the fifties, how there's like a bunch of German and Jewish expats who came and like did like noir and all that. Yeah, like we'll, that. Have yeah. That with we'll have that with we'll have that with you and I. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is also just one text box on this page. This is a woman who's holding both her hands up and it says Willow Leaf, Willow Leaf, and then it says, Why Willow Leaf and not Willow Tree? Uh Willow Tree, knife at hand edge faces opponent, Willow Leaf, palm side of knife hand faces opponent, and then it says in big yellow letters with quotes around it, windy time. <laughs> That's a special <laughs> move that you can actually. Yeah. Can I see this for a second? Yeah. I just want to leaf through it. He has so many special. I, I think I, I have some good special move stuff marked out in here yeah. too. Yeah. Um, it's it's so just insane. For everybody man. at home, this is like how big <laughs> the text is. It it's really like is. is like truly like a freshman in high school. The other thing is, I think that this book is maybe not supposed to exist because in the front of it, it says I it says like I only released this book in um, in electronic formats. So I think this is like an auto printed Amazon thing that he didn't oh mean God. to make. Oh, damn. I think this is just supposed to be this a is PDF. against his will. Yeah. His logo up here is incredible. He has such good graphic yeah, design. He, he's stuff. amazing. Yeah. He, he is the man. All right. Show us some special attack. Yeah. Wait a minute. Did you know I might be talking about a school a little bit here? But this was before my time, before I got to New York. But there was a guy in New York who like made a post. Some of my friends know him, and they'll remain nameless. But that he invented a new art form called stand-up philosophy. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> and it was like this, and then like it was like a blog post, and it was like him detailing like, but it's basically like stand-up comedy. But you don't have to have punchlines; just go up and like say <laughs> philosophy. And then, like, everybody was, like, commenting below, like, that's just spoken word. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's spoken word. Bro, you're ripping All off you Henry Rollins. All you need for a new art form, though, is just a name for it. That's, yeah. that's what makes it a new thing. And that's why everybody here is so lazy and the pornography is stealing our attention. <laughs> uh -huh. Every time yeah. you open up Instagram, I must be a simp. Instead of being, you know, 200 years ago. Each of us would have had at least fifteen art forms, and I would have I would have been drawing different kingdoms. Here's what I would have done. You know, the Leonardo da Vinci drew this naked man. I would have been drawing a naked woman. What the hell is that? The hell was that noise? That's a click. He was trying to. He's playing Valorant on his computer right now. That's scary. He was looking up Appalachian Trail earlier. I think that's the Google Doodle for the day. Huh? 
the Google Doodle for the day. I don't know what any of that <laughs> I shit got, is. I got you know the Google Doodle. You don't know no, the Google Doodle? You know the what? Google Doodle. Oh, up in the thing. That's what they call that? That's yeah. Right. It's oh, the okay. special Google. You sound old as hell. Sound up in the thing. <laughs> Come on, man. Google. You fucking don't, Google boomer. is like the base. The <laughs> you fucking boomer. You, you have are, no idea what I that am, Google I am, Doodle I am, is. I am a, I am a proud was, boomer. I'm 65 years old. I have 15 classic cars. Really? <laughs> yeah, name and I go, right yeah, yeah. They're name all, all your classic cars in. 1986 Chevy Caprice, 1984 <laughs> Chevy Impala, 1986 Cutlass Supreme, 1990 Chevy Cavalier. These sound oh. like jalopies to me. No, yeah. uh, well, they're, yeah. well they're, they're works in progress. Basically, you remember... 1921 Ford. You have 1921 a... Remember when Tim Allen team? was making that fucking... Tr- Car in his house, and his wife mm. was a wife was such a fucking bitch. Uh, she wasn't she let him be she normal? She would or not weird. let him touch his tools. Here's my problem with that. Why are you? Why are you talking? You're yapping at your husband all the time. He's on TV, bitch. Shut the <laughs> hell up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. He should he should have taken a little bit more of a Stephen Crowder approach to her. Yeah, yeah. he should have been sitting in the living room with a table that said, "I need." I need a beer. Change my mind. (laughs) 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 That video is so funny where he talks to her like she's three years old, like a dog. He's like, no, bad wife. (laughs) The Steven Crowder video, it's like Uh a ring doorbell video of him in his backyard. And she's like, I'm going to take the car to my sisters. And he's like, no, watch it. Watch it. Don't take the car. I think she was like, I'm going to get groceries. Yeah, yeah, it was some shit. It was so like innocuous. He didn't want groceries. He doesn't want groceries. He day. wants no restaurants. I like uh-huh. sushi. Yeah, I want. Yeah, I want to build a restaurant in my house. Yeah. Honey, <laughs> they sell they sell sushi at the grocery store. I can get you sushi there. You know, I'm building a restaurant in the basement. Why would we need groceries? How are we? <laughs> how are we fucking up so bad that he got offered fifty million dollars to do a podcast and he said not enough money and we Damn. barely get offered two or three uh-uh. million dollars. Yeah, we haven't even have an. We don't even have an article about us. I need about an we need an article so we badly. Need con- this we need one is going to get us an article. We need so an article. We need complete yeah. controversy well, you know, now. It does feel like any time I try to do anything in show business, I'm. Uh, I have to like apologize for it. I have to like. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I was thinking. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wrote this. I'm sorry. I'm I feel idiot. you. I was thinking yeah. today about. Can you believe that people make stand up comedy show posters that has their face on it? Yeah, I can believe. Yeah, why? It's just <laughs> weird. Maybe. maybe I'm just ugly now that I think about it. But I was like, I don't think I'd ever put my face on something. All like right, that. maybe we need to take a moment right here. Uh huh. The three, uh, the two, uh, three of us, <laughs> and let our friend Caleb know that he's 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 uh, he's looking good. You're handsome, you got man. a new haircut. Is it my haircut, dude. Your haircut, even with that, honestly, you busting. just got to know how to do it up. How to style it? You yeah. just got to know how to style it. So yeah, you I got a look. new haircut. It looks uh, good, man. I went to one of the Turkish barbers. It cracks your back. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at how amazing left, you look now. I left like this. I walked in. They put a bunch of green stuff on my entire mm-hmm. body. They, they crack my yeah. back 40 times. They pull on your shoulders and crack your back, and your hair yeah. just falls out. They, they, cut, flies. they cut a couple of my, my arteries. <laughs> And then here yeah, I, when I, I went to a Turkish your throat yeah. so hard that your blood pressure just shoots. I, 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 I <laughs> it's a barber shop like that still Play-Doh does bloodletting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what, the, the videos of the guy who wears a road mic on his arm and he just like punches the shit out of people. And yeah, he should be putting leeches on I their ears. I haven't seen that guy. Shit. You haven't seen that guy? Dude, the Turkish so have found a way to make... They figured out everything. Coffee, Instagram, bar, Because reels, they're in the center of everything. But not they're in the center of Europe, <laughs> Africa, Asia. They, they, they take all the all knowledge. The, all the, every yes, single literally. piece uh-huh. of knowledge. Literally, they're a leech of human knowledge. <laughs> That's Turkey why they make are leeches. They, they figured. <laughs> <laughs> he said this live. This is going on Vulture. Uh-huh. They Salt said, Bay is Turkish? Yeah. And, uh, well, yeah, that's the thing. They, they, what's his they, name, the little guy? The little guy is, well, I think he's, he's Chechen. Turkish. He's Chechen? He, yeah. But he spends Something. time in, he fucks yeah, with Turkey, Yeah, he fucks right? with Turkey heavy. He definitely fucks with Turkey. What, what was that, that chef that fucking, there was CZ Salt Bay, CZ and, and Bubarak or whatever. Oh, yeah, who like got really sick. He got what? sick? What? No. I feel I like there seen was an him arc of... Actually, the guy that would make the big pots of shit and he yeah. would like flip it over. Yeah. yeah. And he smiles? He like... The smiling chef. He he got really he sick. <laughs> really? sick? Yeah. From his food? We're going to have to see. He ate too much. The he's smiling. not, he's yeah. not the called smiling. the... Oh, yeah, yeah. He is. <laughs> he does come up. First result for the smiling chef. He got the smiling chef sick was an autocomplete of the smiling chef. Look, he's in the hospital. Wait, this, this was last this year. Was a year ago. Yeah, there was kind oh of an arc god. of him. Oh my god! Uh, he the the president of Turkey would come. He got shot. Burak no, world. No, 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 no. Shot to fame. Shot to fame. Oh, yeah. My bad. Yeah, you got to okay. think. There's so many. Like you know, I guess oh. Gordon Ramsay. I know, uh-huh. but I know so many Salt Bay. This guy. Yeah. I a feel like there's Turkish there's ships. another Turkish guy with like a big. 
like he looks like Surge from System of a Down, and he's got like a big Hassan Piker. Uh, <laughs> he's got like a big like curled mustache. Oh, really? Yeah. Is he a chef or a barber or one he's of these like chiropractors? A meat, a he's like a meat sword guy. Ah, oh. okay. He's making the picanha. They don't make picanha there, dude. They do. Well, he could though. be doing that. All right, what do you got for us? Uh, so this is he has a bunch of animal styles okay. that he calls calamitous patterns. Doggy style. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, like in that's what's up. I spilled my coffee Kung for Fu that. Panda, they got all the different animals. Yeah, mm-hmm. they he's got, got this, panda. but he's got a bunch of different animals. Okay. And we already did some of these on the last one. So I mean, uh-huh. but he has obviously has, he has ape style, Muriwaza, tiger style, cobra style, human style. He has too. Human style was really good. Human I remember. Style, what is ant, human style? Ant style. These, these are fighting whale styles. Styles? These are different fa- fighting styles that have special moves. But the one I want to show you today <laughs> so was, it was carpenter ant. One of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what he is has that? Two one? Different, he has two different styles for the African and the Indian elephant. <laughs> he has African elephant style and Indian elephant style. They're what different. The? Um, but this one, this is one that I just saw today. Uh, that has so, most of them are like okay, it's like monkey styles, like monkey fist. You use a, a surprise punch. You know, mm-hmm. it's also it's different moves. I would do. think that would be human style. Human style use spears and, yeah. and fishing oh, nets. Oh, I remember that. Use technology. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. this is uh, dragon style. <laughs> oh my god, that he developed. <laughs> and so here are the stuff, some of the special moves that he that he writes you can do if you're using dragon style Muriwaza. So yeah, to for to to compare, for example, um, cr- like. Crane beak is when you use your fingers to peck the throat and eyeballs, right? Like that. Yeah, exactly like that. Like Kill Bill. I had a like fantasy Bill, exactly. where I did that to a bear the other day. I, I had sick. a dream that I was being attacked by a bear last night, and I was punching it in the face. I was sitting on my couch imagining I had to go upstate for something, and then I was, but I was sitting there. I was like, what if a bear comes? And I was like, well, I'll simply take it. Goes up to the car. Yeah. While you're driving upstate. Did you see the video recently of the guy, like, shooing a bear out of, like... Oh, and the bear scratches him. Yeah, and he walks. He just yeah, get out! Like it's yeah. just some guy in like he like the bear suburban yeah. Philly or whatever. <laughs> and he, he goes up. He's like, like yeah, somebody owes me a beer after that. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Water, yeah. water. I need water. So, I need wound. a glass of water. There's a girl that transferred to my high school from Philly, and she'd be like, so "What comes out of the faucet?" <laughs> and we'd be like, "Water." And she. No, <laughs> water. Why would she be making That's, fun yeah. of herself? She's the only person there who knows. She's yeah. trying to change the world. Doesn't know how to talk. Whatever. Yeah. She just wanted to be. There's like, oh yeah, this Philly girl. Dragon punch. Okay. Which it says dragon punch, and then in parentheses under it, dragon's fire breath. Wow. So that's you can use fire breath if you're using dragon style. You can also use tearing bites, which says dragon eats you. Whoa. So that's another special move. You can eat your opponent. Um, they also have straight arm hand slaps, dragon slaps tail, bent wing slaps, dragon protects den, low backward kicks, dragons escapes, stiff leg wheel kick, da- dragon whips tail, and then it also says in big letters at the top, dragon pulls you to only vanish. Wow. Whoa. This reminds me of uh, when I was a laborer for construction, I was working for this Irish guy, and he was like, yeah, I used to drink with this. He was like, we were talking about redheads, and he was like, they're fucking out of their minds. And he was like, I knew this, <laughs> he was like, I knew this one redhead. In Ireland, he like got so mad that he was like in a in a bar and he was holding a pint glass. <laughs> and he got so mad like that, and, he's, ah, and he bit the pint. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> just to prove like how mad he was, and he was like, he just cut his fucking mouth open so Jesus bad. Jesus Christ! That's my favorite prank video. Crazy. Have you seen that that prank video where the guy goes into? No, what do you think of the one I sent you? Which one did you say? Butter stairs. Oh, butter stairs. <laughs> <laughs> What's butter stairs? We might have to, we might have to watch yeah, that. Have to watch butter yeah. stairs. Yeah. I gotta see there's it. a there's a video of some guys where they they get the like edible glass and they put like a Bud Light label on it and they put like some empties on a bar and they walk into a bar they order a drink and they whoever is like sitting near the empty glass they go like. Hey man, you gonna finish that? And the guy's like, "No, I'm not gonna finish it." And he takes the glass and just starts eating it in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the, most of the people are just like, "What the fuck?" Like ignore it. And then one of the guys like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> oh, and starts taking out his phone and filming him eating it. He's like, "He eating the glass, y'all." <laughs> he eating the glass. I found this video on Instagram of this uh, woman being like, "No, nah, I pulled my kids out of the pool. This is fucked up." And then she like. 
points her camera at the lifeguard. And she's like, this lifeguard is a AI. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I did see that. Yeah. When they're doing the light. Yeah. It's, uh, that's apparently some shit that lifeguards are supposed to do to get, like, to watch According the most to the comments, yeah. area. This guy is so susceptible. Yeah. Yeah. According to the comments, what do you mean? You believe the that community That was a community notes, note. I bet. I bet you believe the community notes. Oh, yeah. I believe you the would, community note because I believe, I believe note. In, in... Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone. Yep. That's, yep, what, that's exactly. the kind of shit that's, they're pushing in these notes, If that's on the community man. note, then I believe it. Fuck you. This entire section of the book... Get the fuck out of here. Bitch. <laughs> Kick you out. I can't this right stand here, it. <laughs> it's probably about 60, 70 pages. Is, I'm not going to read it, but it's literally just a list of every robbery on an armored car that happened in the last <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> did you read this whole thing? I did not. I skimmed it. I've read parts of it here. I'm going to skip to some of the good parts. Wait, what do, Connor, what do you think of our idea for a sitcom, which is three guys in an armored car? <laughs> Isn't that a good idea? Isn't that yeah. a really good oh idea? My, okay. You think this would make it? Three guys who work for Brinks. All right. Spoiler alert for this: If you don't want to hear the ending of Three Guys in a Armored Car, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I we had a name Skip for it. I don't end. remember what it was. But oh, the, yeah, what was but it? But the last episode, you guys are just chilling, and all of a sudden, you look over to the side. Big semi truck comes, <laughs> hits you. Oh you go God. into a fucking car dealership. All of a sudden, there's a shape shape charge. <laughs> blow. You guys get robbed in heat. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! You are, you are the opening. Oh, robbery, opening robbery oh. for heat. That's an idea yes. I had when I was a little kid. I had an idea for a movie that's about a henchman. It was going to be called Henchman. And it's about and it, and a guy's entire life, and he works in organized crime, but he's just like a lowly underling, right? And then the end of the movie is he's just like sitting in front of a room, and like a John Wick guy like snaps his neck, like the actual main character of the world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it just, dude, fade to black, Henchman. Damn. Wouldn't that have blown your fucking mind? Well, the, yeah. maybe the movie shouldn't have been called Henchman. Yeah. Well, but that the entire time you're like, maybe he's not a henchman. He has maybe a it's daughter. A, the type of movie where you don't know the name until the end. Yeah, oh, they put a question mark. It's on the called poster. the mystery movie. You know what they tried to do with Terminator Two? They try, and if you watch it, they tried to make it so like you don't know that Arnold's the good guy. Yeah, like the first twenty minutes, it's like mm-hmm. well, he's the buffest one. Yeah, that's well, yeah, that's what <laughs> I usually go by. Kind of a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, but it's kind of you know not really henchman. Henchman is kind of a one of one idea. Thing. I would say. Three guys in an armored car. What is the? It's like s- the office. Yeah. So it's like yeah. single cam. It's like a comedy. single camera, yeah. and yeah. then one of us. Do you guys is ever like leave the, the armored car? Uh, one of us is like the, the bachelor of the group. Maybe. There's no bathroom in there, <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah. No, they just live in it. Yeah. Well, oh, that's what, yeah. We get the we get the job. The three of us. We get evicted, and then mm-hmm. we get evicted. And we're like, we need a place to stay. Armored car, twenty four hour security. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, and it's parked in a dangerous neighborhood. Like I'm having great episode ideas. Just yeah. Sitting here. Exactly. That's, teaming with yeah. it. Like what do you first have? Of, like Patrick. Like is you guys fire him, and he's like, well, whatever. You can't evict me, and he he uses his part of the armored truck to start a food truck. Yep. I think we I came think up we with that. I think we actually did a food truck. <laughs> I think we actually did that. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were shoving. You're shoving taquitos through the little, yeah. like, the little the holes. Where you yeah. Can we get ChatGPT up here? Can we plug? Because I, I recently did this where I asked ChatGPT to come up with a pitch document for a show called Roommates, and it's about Donald Trump and uh, Biden being roommates. Oh, my God. <laughs> In Brooklyn. Yeah. Oh, um, but what was the camp? other one? There was one episode where one of us is The Bachelor and they're trying to bring home a girl, but we're all, it's like, we oh, have to yeah. hide. Who can in accommodate? The, you have to hide yeah. under the money. Oh, yeah, wow. hiding under the money bones. or like being in the front of the car. And is this set in New England? This is it's set, set in a truck. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So anywhere. <laughs> kind of literally, it could literally be anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. It could be anywhere thing. that has a road. It's mostly <laughs> under the bridge. Anywhere that's not yeah. in the water or the air. <laughs> Just not water, yeah. yeah. Anywhere that's flat. Yeah. And honestly, it could be in the air. Yeah, I mean, if it if could be a flying truck if we don't see the drove outside. on one of those. And Honestly, just, it could be an underwater truck too. Twist yeah, ending. If you put a little. Wait. <laughs> oh my god, this is completely this is getting it ending. so well. Yeah, it, it does it really well. I mean, this is great. This is too long. It's man. way too long, guys. Yeah. We just need a synopsis for an episode. I think. Yeah, it's armored the ar- trunks. <laughs> the armored, armored truck, truck horn honks. honks, causing everyone. The to armored jump. truck is talking in that script. Yeah, Did it's Lisa, it? Mike, can and I, Jay. Can, I, can, I be a, can I be an EP on this? Yeah, yes. non non writing EP. No. What? No. Well, come you on. Just, you no, just want the money. I'll, dude, yeah. I will literally use all my X power on X to Wait. get this made. I'll okay, that's be fine. DMing. Sarah Cooper. Wait, we we can. If you want to think we, if you think we want to be associated with X, wait, 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 wait. 
that's actually an amazing idea. She is Trump the whole show, right? <laughs> She's Trump the whole show. We're using AI to get Trump's voice so that she and we're having him say, like, we got to get rid of the armored car. We don't like the armored car. <laughs> we don't like the armored but car. She no, he is lip syncing that. Yeah. And that's like this, like, oh my God, we have to watch the State of the Union. Sarah Cooper right there oh on the God. screen. I, I do like think it's President so funny. Trump. I do think it's so anytime he gets turned on the radio. The armored car, it's going around, <laughs> it's driving around. We don't want it. We don't want it. We don't, don't, like it. It. We uh, don't turn, we it off, turn that turn shit it off. off. I hate politics. I fucking we, hate we don't even realize it's a bad <laughs> I hate this Cheeto and Chief, bro. <laughs> Keep the politics out the car, dog. Oh my God. <laughs> no po- what did we say? No politics in the car, you guys. <laughs> the car must be stopped. The car must be stopped. We don't know what this guy All the media that is like seen in the background yeah, of the show is all, all about the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every newspaper on every news yeah the, the weather yeah. today well it doesn't matter you're gonna be in an armored yeah, car yeah, yeah. <laughs> the weather the the uh, it's gonna be bright fluorescent in the back yeah, of the, the weather car. today the ac will be on if the <laughs> yeah, car is running it's a great idea outside i think it's a great idea it is think such a good we're gonna idea. have to off mic really Really we're beat this one. Yeah. We're, yeah. yeah. we're gonna go sit over, over at our, ready. our table over there, and we're gonna be got the whiteboard up. And it's Sitting like, oh, no, at that table. doesn't make sense. Yeah. Okay, guys, here's what you do. Doing the if hero's that's what journey. You think writing is erasing no, the hero's make journey. Sense. That is what it is for him. It doesn't make sense for him to eat his own shit. That's what everyone says to me when here's, I try to pitch something. This is what you've all been. This is what you do if you're attacked by a mob okay. at your house. Okay. I'm going to read a few paragraphs Is it a here. woke mob? Yes. Uh, well, no. you'll see by Absolutely. the types of things they probably say. Just, probably just pull up a fucking clip of me playing Postal here's, 2 here's on what my he says. stream. Mm. I designed the civilian anti-victimology survival scale to provide a private citizen a series of active slash passive acts and actions they can enact when faced with a real-time physical threat to self, friends, family, or property. These are violent times whereby literal mobs are attacking people and places with very nefarious intent. I understand that a mob of hundreds of people is virtually impossible to defend against. Um, and then he says, uh, couch taters, senior citizens, children, and the disabled have obvious limitations. <laughs> Nonetheless, Murray Waza can even things out by turning disability into an ability. Whoa. Because it's so deadly. I guess you can do that. Oh, my God. Um, there was one thing that he... Let me see if I can find the... Is it the one that's bookmarked? There's something before the one that's bookmarked, I think, okay. that I learned, but... That's okay if I can't find it. Anyway, um, they call me, this section is headed, they call me Mr. Show Off. And it says, the more you show luxury to the outside world and keeping up with the Joneses, the more you are putting out a subliminal signal. It's a gold mine in here. Whoa. A thief will seek the path of less resistance and try to converge your stuff into theirs, devoid of conveyance, <laughs> gratuity, barter, trade, gamble pay, work, or outright purchase. Your That's honor, the concept. They, your honor, they con- converged their stuff into mine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Keep your garage door closed when access is not necessary, for it projects a carnival-like atmosphere such as one feels at a flea market or a yard sale. Especially my shit, dude. I got all these vintage Pac-Man cabinets in my shit. Oh, man. Yeah, I got street sharks. My garage is badass. I have a fridge. Keep it open. I got all these stop signs. Like yeah, fifty stop signs. Bunch of just garage. rusty ass stop signs. A bunch of those old Coke cans where they don't have the lip on them. Oh One day God. those will all be a table. Yeah, once I'm done. Once I'm done with my project. Don't you remember like feeling like a responsibility? Maybe you guys didn't have this so much, but like a responsibility to not, like you should not open up your Happy Meal toys. Those will be worth a lot of money. Yeah, the one beanie day. babies. Yeah, beanie oh, babies. Yeah. Why is it though that you you saying the thing about the stop sign table? Why is it that like every friend's house that you would go up to, or go like go to their house growing up, you'd always go into the garage to get a soda, and there would be like their dad would have made like a couch out of shoes. Yeah. And you'd be like, what's that about? Ah, he just likes doing that. (laughs) That's dad's new project. I think it's like when you are a father, you're essentially castrated. Yeah. It's like my dad made... You need to put all your energy into something. My, My friend's dad would make him like skateboard obstacles. My dad made... just make like boxes uh, and like stuff to grind. My dad took a bunch of wine labels and mod podged them onto a canvas and then started giving that for like four years in a row as Christmas gifts to people. <laughs> Just wine that he had drank, he'd take the label off and mod podge it and be like, here you go, mom. Yeah, Here's you can, all the you wine. Can hang that on the wall. My dad was the. He, did the elevators at the Prudential Building in Chicago. He did the maintenance for him, and then he would just like knew the building really well and was friends with everybody. So he would completely furnished our basement with like a stolen materials from the Prudential. <laughs> That's building. amazing. Like, that is great. Like off it, like square carpet, like the drop ceiling, the like wood pan. He just All that was just, just his whole. That. 
Yeah, he made it look yeah. like an elevator. In well, he's way. basically <laughs> they, yeah. He can go anywhere if he's the king of the elevator. Yeah, yeah. he would That's always my, say he my would, uncle did that shit. Your uncle was elevator. He was an elevator guy, and he put on the on my cousin's closet. He just put the up and down button. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what, are, what are the two? It. What are the two elevator brands? The the big Otis, ones. Otis I, Schindler I, and T- Tyson Crump. Tyson Crump. Oh, yeah. yeah, which are you? What team are you? Uh, yeah, here's the thing: you bounce dad. around all of them when you're in the when you're an elevator. Mechanic. You bounce around. Yeah, yeah. you're like, to oh, test fuck them? this. I'm quitting. I'm going over to Schindler. Oh, I thought you mean you get in them and you jump a bunch of times to try to see if it'll fall. <laughs> no. My dad would get in the elevator and, and like rock them back and forth. Like this, is, this one's good. This one's good. <laughs> That's the best job ever. Yeah. Ding. <laughs> this was Just fine. try to break this motherfucker. Next building. Jumping up in the middle of it. Here's what you do when the intruders are are at your house. Okay. okay. You will need at least you will need at least three basketballs <laughs> and a few quote old school clipboards. Which we'll get into what the clipboards are. We're for. having these old boys. Run, they're running suicide. We need three basketballs and, and some old school clipboards. <laughs> he says, uh, memorize the following short, brief statement to ensure the intruders are aware that the police are coming, you are home, and they can leave unharmed. In a loud voice, state, policia coming. Whoa. <laughs> yep. Then throw or bounce the basketball away from you. This will confuse them and distract their intention. The basketball should not be overinflated. Okay. Only have enough air to bounce to bounce around. <laughs> <laughs> you misspelled. Bounce. Well, that could be a technique. Around a few times. That is a that is a technique. Yeah, Next, squat down, bounce bend you. your knees, and yell the following with greater force. Hey, boys, they're here. Whoa. The use of the term boys communicates to the intruder that there is more than two to three dedicated men at the sheltered in place in the house. The use of the term they're here is even more chilling. So this is like Home Alone when he yeah. has the fake party. Exactly. And you throw basketballs to make them think that they're people. And, and, then the here's, <laughs> and here's what the clipboard is I got for. a bunch of NBA players in here that'll <laughs> kick your ass. The clipboard is for the clipboard gunshot sound trick. Oh, oh. where you snap the, the it, top yep. of it. But that's actually smart. Yeah. You this have is to smart. I don't do know not fire would... closer than one foot to the ear and body. Damn. <laughs> Not the clipboard gunshot trick. Because then they'll know. Yeah. Um, then yeah, I'll just like I kind of want to just show us some of this stuff. This this is Gemini clock theory he invented. <laughs> okay, which, clock theory. Yeah, <laughs> it's, he calls it Gemini clock theory and twin clock theory. Here's uh, example: how to use Pollock's clock in a stance. And this is Malvolio's spider. The twelve-legged spider acts like the hands of the clock. Holy shit! So Malvolio. This is, going, this is him diving into the full. He's going into it. Yeah, I want to take you guys back to two thousand three. Mm-hmm. I'm there. Jay Z <laughs> is in a big conference room with some record executives, and there's a skinny little guy that comes in, and he starts talking about how he's going to be such a great rapper. Da, 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 and he gets up on the table, he starts rapping along, and then they, he leaves, and they say that guy's an idiot. He's never going to make it to anywhere. His name is Kanye West. Oh my wow. fucking god. That's what this guy is. Mm-hmm. You're saying in 10 years. I'm saying it's making such perfect sense to him and society has not caught up to him yet. Because it is like there is some logic or it does look like he, it, it makes sense a, yeah. in his head. It yeah. absolutely clock theory. does. It's incredible. It's Gemini clock theory. And here's a section on Japanese proverbs. <laughs> Wait, isn't he, is there a good one? I'll read you one right now. Does he have children? Uh, 50 at least. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's his first Japanese proverb. He has, we are fools whether we dance or not, so we might as well dance. <laughs> that's, <beast. laughs> that's actually kind of cute. Yeah. Cold tea and cold rice are bearable, but cold looks and cold words are not. Oh, wow. That's something you say to your wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This, hey, one, this, is, this one's something you can say to your wife. When you make wife. my tea, that can be cold. But The tongue is but three inches long, but it can kill a man six feet tall. Wow. <laughs> Going back to Buddha Judge, yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! He's, he's, <laughs> the bodies are stacking. That's what they sent him to Afghanistan to eat people's pussies yeah. to death. This is his section on compromised organ malfunction. <laughs> okay, where he's talking about his different attacks that you can use on different parts of people's bodies. Oh, this is the part I wanted to read. He's talking about groin attack. He has a huge section about groin. Oh attack. come on! He fights like a girl. Um, come on now! Come on, man! You can't Let's be getting up on here. down now. Uh, here, let me read this section about. 
Oh, here we go. Degloving. This is an injury where the scrotum is torn away, <laughs> similar to removing a glove from a hand. A Maria Waza grab and twisting attacks can mimic that. He you say you rip someone's nuts off? Of I think butt. scrotum off the balls, right? Yeah, like a banana. Leave the balls there, the just, balls dead, just, just hitting hanging. each other. Just deglove the skin yeah. off the scrotum. He also he has a full section here on female groin attacks. He says, a well-placed knee smash, kick, blunt weapon, or opportunistic hand slash arm blow to caster six slash pollux 12 groin area is a devastating injury. They'd probably like that shit, though. The vulva includes the labia minora, labia majora, and clitoris, which are easily compromised by a kick or a focused knee smash. <laughs> Tell me why he knows this shit, but my dad don't. The perineum <laughs> is the space between the vaginal opening and the anus. The perineum is affected primarily by a well-placed opportunistic kick or regular upward knee smash, the latter usually by a short front lunge or snap kick. So his idea is to st somebody attacks you, you start just like fingering them and fucking yeah. grabbing yeah. their ass. Let's make a Mario Waza, dude. Fight love. Fight hate with love. Oh yeah, then they fall in love with you and then they yeah. get attached. So, and this is some lore that I just discovered. And then okay. you get power over them. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. This is gonna, this blew my mind. This truly cements him, I think, as one of the geniuses of our time and one of the most inspiring stories of all time. Okay. So fellow, Mur he's talking about head injuries. Uh -huh. So fellow Mario Waza, be very careful. On December 26th, that's the day after Christmas, 2019, Boxing Day. I tripped, fell, and struck my head, which caused a debilitating stroke and traumatic brain injury. No. Several bouts of chemotherapy had weakened me. I'm still unable to walk. However, I can still teach through the web. Thanks. Eddie wow. Putin. This guy. He writes it like he's signing off. But he's been through like the so ringer. Much left in the book. Have you guys ever seen somebody on the computer pretending to be sick? Like yeah, on oh, Facebook yeah. or something like oh, that. I yeah, just you dude. just I just rewatched the the first Saw movie because the new one came out, and uh -huh. I forgot that one of the s traps uh, that Jigsaw sets in the first movie is literally he puts someone like in a thing where he covers them in oil and he's gonna light them on fire, and he goes, "For years you pretended to be sick." <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that's one of the things he's punishing somebody for. How do you even pretended to be sick? Well, nowadays yeah. it'd be left and right. Yeah. Go fund me. Go oh fraud God. me. Is yeah. what I defraud <laughs> defraud you. Biden's got to do something it. about it. Go fund me. Yeah, yeah, you should shut the whole thing down. Blow yeah. it up. Yeah. And I'm, just, I'm gonna start doing Biden impressions. We yeah. need more Biden impressions. This, this is it. This you guys notice he your fucking world walks premiere. around, y'all. Bruh, your he's world kind of like premiere. a video game. Yeah. Jim Carrey famously played him. That's on Saturday Night Live. Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie. I got recommended something on the Instagram where they're like. It's still Jim Carrey. Like Jim Carrey is actually playing him for real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. like a guy that's like yeah, he's no, doing an amazing job. Yeah. I've heard there's three or four. He's actors. wearing a he's wearing a skin <laughs> suit. Who's the who's the senator? The big ugly troll that they say Fetterman. Fetterman? Changed they changed his head. Yeah. What? Is oh they, they yeah, took yeah, his yeah. Mustache off and put they it on his beard. Screwed his head off. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what I always pop it off like a Lego man. What is he doing? Where they're like, we need to change his head. Yeah, yeah. So his, make head his head is like different. The, like he has depression, so they probably took it off and were messing around. Oh, uh, the they're probably trying to solve it with a magnet. Yeah, mm -hmm. how does that work? So Sorry. they're pulling all the yeah. metals out oh. that make you depressed. Yeah. All uh, the Magneto. hard metals, all cadmium. The Magneto, all that the stuff. therapist. Mm -hmm. uh, the <laughs> last thing, thing, the last thing in this book, this last section, uh -huh. this from here to the end, all of this is a quiz oh. about what's in the book. Oh my God! Wait, it's all multiple choice quiz questions with no right, answers. Just, just, no ask, answers listed. Ask me one. It's I bet I'll get it. Tell. I bet I'll get it. You don't even need the key. Okay, let's see here. Just ask me one question. I got you. Uh, num question number twenty. Okay. Nervous people often began to speak faster than normal. What are the options? Is the answer A yes or B no? That's a no, man. Nervous people they shut down as soon as you start talking yeah. to them. Well, we don't know. There's yeah, no answer. We can't tell. I guess we'll never know. Who's Did you try flipping person? the book upside down? Maybe there's an answer key. There's no answer key here. Maybe at all. you email him afterwards. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I, contact him, get the answer key. Okay, here's one for you. Okay. You are roused in the middle of the night to someone oh, inside ooh. your house. Ooh. What level in the CASS system can you immediately enter? Mm. A, level three. <laughs> B, <laughs> level seven. C, level eight. Or D, level six. Was my training seven? Okay. I'm not at eight yet. Well, we'd, well yeah, we'd, again, we can't. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. Can neither <laughs> confirm right nor deny. Seven, yeah, it's just you, you escalate it pretty fast. Yeah. Escalations. <laughs>
this everybody in the 1800s was like this guy. Yeah. yeah. And like now, now we're now we're it's all coming back. Yeah, we only think that this guy is crazy because he tried to make a martial art in 2021 instead yeah. of back in the day. If you had yeah. said a hundred years ago the way This is that, called a karate chop. Yeah, you invent a karate chop, you, <laughs> you go like this. You finger people when they attack you, you throw basketballs mm-hmm. to make to make them distracted. They'd people, say, What the hell is a basketball? Yeah. It's the <laughs> it would have been it would have been, yeah, exactly. What the fuck is like, that? Guy, Smith isn't born yet. This guy two hundred years ago would just be like in Illinois being like, this is, uh, okay, we're going to call this uh, Rantoul, Illinois, and I'm the mayor. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And yeah. this is what the, and everyone's like, oh, I guess we have to do what he okay. says. He would have ran who, against Lincoln. Everyone just attacking each other. And it would have just been and like, Lincoln yeah. died a much worse shot, death. Yeah. <laughs> Any person who covered their eyes with sunglasses or whatever the past version of sunglasses were and couldn't walk probably commanded like 700 people. Yeah, because they're scary. Yeah. You never know yeah. what they're capable they of. Haven't entered. That's what people would be like, this man has like a bewitching energy. They just meant that he wore That's what I was clothing. thinking about. I mean, that's there's no wonder his stuff is so sexual because can you imagine you're attacking him and he fingers you and puts your own dick in your own ass? He literally ass. calls those attacks. He calls them insertion attacks. Yeah, it makes you fall in love. And then he's, yeah, once you fall in love with him, he's making you drop out of college and do mm-hmm. just anything for him. Yeah. You're moving you across get a country. Brand. You get like a, his name branded on you. Yeah. You're, you're like, like you want to go him on tour. Some Nexium cult that he started. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. Love, yeah, you love watching his stand-up sets. Yeah. It's Russell Brand. <laughs> yeah. Yep, Isn't that yep. what Dalia did? You know, yeah, making, making girls get tattoos. Had a, uh, yeah. yeah, he had like a whole sex. Uh, he had a, he had sex in his bedroom. I hear yeah. these guys they <laughs> dream too big. They try to get they try to build up to having a whole island. Yeah, nobody would. They wouldn't find out if you weren't trying to make all. If you weren't trying to turn your weird sex stuff into a, exactly. a big thing. <laughs> leave it in. The, it's leave that in, leave the it in your room, house, man. man. Do it in your garage. Yeah. This is the hope of the metaverse. Is exactly. that these guys can go do this stuff in the metaverse in front of in front of thousands of little yeah. kids who it's actually fine. got an Oculus? I don't give a shit. It's fine. No, yeah, let Jared Leto here. run around there, with his his dick out in his Morbius suit. Yeah, let him do his thing, man. He's I don't just think trying he wants to. Shit. Remember Mordecai? Mordecai. Yeah. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Oh yeah. yes, What's yes. That? Twirly mustache, Johnny Depp. Mm-hmm. Comedy. It was comedy with Depp. It was twenty fifteen. It was it was going up. That movie was going up against The Force Awakens. <laughs> was it? It had no shot. It was trying to be funny. And yeah. it was? Was it on that uh, Rango style? It was Steve? Mordecai you know, and you Ewan know what McGregor. would happen is these movies would come out and then it would be like kind of like a safe target for like late night comedy shows where they uh, can make fun. Like, okay, yeah. this is a bomb. They're putting it out in January. We mm. can pile up like Chappie was one, Mordecai. They're all uh-huh. like burned into my brain. Chappie yeah. was fucking Just awesome. Just because I remember being like, people worked hard on that. Why are you making fun of it? That's right. <laughs> like, who gives a shit? <laughs> what a nice guy. <laughs> like, what, we can make fun of Chappie, but we can't like, you know. Make but we can't of, go to uh, war in Iraq again, man. Because <laughs> we have bullshit. so much knowledge of how to do it right. Yeah, this exactly. Time. Why are we wasting our time with these movies, man? These uh, late night jokes. We should be doing late night rallies. <laughs> we should be doing. Uh, we yeah, should be sure. rallying our citizens to all f- get on a plane, fly over to Iraq right now, and we'll do that shit right. Don't drop bombs. Don't buddy. drop bombs. <laughs> drop me. Late uh-huh. night jokes. All this roasting going on on late night. Late night. We should be asleep. Mm-hmm. That's a good point, man. <laughs> we gotta get <laughs> we 16, get twelve hours. People 16 don't talk guys about that from, bedtime uh, inflation. Seven p.m. to seven a.m. I'm talking some bedtime inflation. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, filled yeah, with yeah, blood. Yeah, dude. Inflate a little pool and mm-hmm. sit in it. Blowing bubbles in my penis. Yeah, get these blood. Six. Get sixteen guys from Saugus, Massachusetts. Massachusetts to get on a plane, all edging together oh on the flight God. over to Iraq. I think the, the moment that people from Saugus and people from Saudi Arabia realize that their places share the first same three letters, they're going to change, are gonna change world in the world. Okay, mm-hmm. so there's a cataclysmic event. Joe Biden's brain explodes live on TV. It's been revealed that it's just nothing but vanilla ice cream. Mm-hmm. The world goes into hell verse, and the United States breaks up into different sections. New England and the Midwest are, are they allies? Are They're they allies, allies, really? What because are they allies of fighting against you know the South. Well, which, South is cool. Well, they, well they we've talked about this before. We've talked about uh, Civil War Two. We talked about this a couple of weeks ago. But it's over. What would it yeah. be? I mean, probably be over like access to like Cedar yeah. Point and theme yeah. parks. Oh, yeah. oh, it's well, all about uh, theme parks. Bush, yeah. We got Bush Gardens. It's gonna be over. <laughs> it's gonna be over restaurants. They're trying to yeah, get. They're true. trying to get fun In spot out, out yeah. of Laconia, New Hampshire. They want the world's <laughs> biggest arcade in the South. <laughs> In Cedar Point. Yeah. That'll See that? Be. Oh my God! That's what the the Civil War too. It's going to be over the fast food places, mm-hmm. and in California, they're going to have, be having the In and Out. Their soldiers are going to be 
relaxed and lax and lazy and mm-hmm. slothful. Too much beef. Be, uh-huh. Too much beef. Too much smoking weed and then going to In and Out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But up in New England, we got the dunks. We got and dunks. We're basically gonna have like Dunky. like Jacob's Cracked Ladder out. and Kelly's Roast Beef soldiers. True. Yeah. Uh, Good point. Honey we're gonna be going fucking crazy. Now, why don't you two talk like? Uh, what they, well, I almost because called Kenneth Banna. What's his <laughs> name? <laughs> Kenneth Branagh? Mr. Feeney? No, fucking... Um, you want us to have Boston Brahmin accents? I want you to talk like Dude, I'm pissed ben off Affleck because my, my dad Donald had commercial. a Boston accent when he was a kid and he like trained it out of himself yeah. before I was born. So I could have probably I mean, you had met, one. You met my whole got family. Stolen, it got stolen I away did. from yeah, they all Patrick's sound. mom is a baddie. Yep. <laughs> so true. Thank you, man. She's a baddie. Thank you. She. Uh, yes, we've had it confirmed. <laughs> By somebody who's it's not doing it by to a me. celebrity. Yeah, okay. it's been confirmed by my and fucking she's eyes. And because Patrick, well, first of all, Patrick opened for me in Boston, which was nice, but we drove around his old neighborhood, and he was like, man, whoa, I can't change so much. And I was like, oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, that, <sighs> can't believe that CVS is closed. I used to go there. <laughs> and that, man, that 7-Eleven is, oh, I would, yeah. dude, I would like go there and get Gatorade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got to be the worst person to travel with uh-huh. ever. And it was like a moment where I was like, oh, yeah, you're like 12. Yeah, <laughs> like, the world has like not changed that much. No, no, no. The neighborhood yeah. is different, though. My old neighborhood. Great Scott's gone. That was yeah. I played there yeah. once. Yeah, but, I, sh- uh, I saw you there. Yeah, but uh, the Blueberry Tour. I saw Blueberry you on that tour. one. What there was? Um, oh yeah, when uh, your mom said to me after your show, she's like, "I was, re- I actually liked it. I was really surprised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting to like it. Was not like, oh, only thank you. That's yeah, very she was honest like, of you. I, I didn't think I would get it. <laughs> <laughs> Not only is she bad, y'all, she nice too. Kind. She nice. She's yeah. good to hang out with. That was mm-hmm. I my Friendly. my yep. youngest my youngest brother two days before that called me and was like, Yeah, I wanna see your show, but I don't know. I just I was working on the in this basement of this retirement home. I guess there was a huge carbon monoxide leak. <laughs> I don't remember. I woke up in the hospital. Oh yeah. <laughs> he had carbon monoxide poisoning. That. It was so awesome. bad that like but then he fucking showed up to the show still. Yeah. <laughs> like he like just uh, got out of the uh, hospital and was like t- <laughs> he, he thought it was a food court. He couldn't fucking we were like talking to him after That's why he's just laugh. sitting there just like Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> he uh that reminds me of my friend from high school, this guy named Uchwald, Polish guy, doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. He, um, we're in doesn't. Ridgewood, so watch out. They got shooters. Oh, well, dude, hey man, I'm from Chicago, so watch mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. But O-block. That's the new Civil War. <laughs> Ob- uh, Polish gangs on O'Block. <laughs> 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 Holding the gun backwards. <laughs> hey, come on, man. What are you doing? Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. wait yes. Oh, um, man. Oh, they, my God. Screen door butterfly doors. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Dan Lakata had a we're trying to come up with new Polish jokes, and uh, so we were trying to figure out something where they uh, like, like you ever see a, uh, somebody eating a CD ROM? Yeah, that's a Polish guy eating a Norton antivirus <laughs> <laughs> disc. <laughs> but my friend Uchwald was a lifeguard in Chicago, and he saved somebody from drowning, and the person was developmentally disabled, and he pulled him out of the water, and Uchwald was like, kind of fucked up by this he was like revived them on the beach and like oh brought them God. back to life and it was like kind of crazy and he just was like you know it was exhausting too like go in the water to pull out another body and uh he was just like sitting there kind of grappling with like i just saved somebody and i have no idea like just kind of like feeling kind of, he was like a teenager too and uh the, <laughs> the guy that he saved was was sitting next to him and the paramedic was like, so how you doing to, to the guy? And he went, not too good. I drowned today. <laughs> <laughs> and he just started laughing. <laughs> That's an amazingly sweet story. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but he got saved. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, this well, is well. Uh, go out, use Maria Waza, start uh-huh. fighting. Oh, your wait parents. a minute. Go to the endorphinport.com and oh, watch yes. The Mask. Yes. Oh, yeah. Go to endorphinport.com. The new watch short film. film. New short, short film by yeah. Connor O'Malley. And also, there is a chat bot on there. If you like this chat GPT crap, you're going to love it. It's not this a chat crap. bot. It's actual, we synthesized human mind on mm-hmm. computer. Yeah. What? It's Jeremy. Yeah, yeah. It's Jeremy. He's real. It's the first beyond artificial intelligence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you Full uploaded a guy? Yeah, he's a. 32-year-old guy from Phoenix, Arizona named Jeremy who works part-time at AutoZone. He drives an Altima, lives with his dad. Mm -hmm. Um, And, I mean, if people want to talk to him, they can go to endorphinport.com. Go to endorphinport.com, talk to Jeremy 100% for free, take a screen cap, text it to your uh, grandparent Christmas Day. That's their gift. Yeah. (laughs) Frame it. 
Uh-huh. Frame it and send them on their way. All right, and then to go check out uh, World's Biggest Army. Uh-huh. Or, so, Underworld's oh, fuck, Biggest yeah, Mummy. When is Port of Skull, out? Halloween City. On October 20th. It's, it's, it's our show. So at you guys Field. are trying to do a sketch show, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. You didn't, uh, you didn't call up the ultimate sketch doctor? <laughs> we, well, have we, have sketch yet, that, we haven't written We have a sketch that we need you to look over. Hmm, I'll take a look. Mm-hmm. It's, it's about the mask. Yeah. <laughs> it's, about, <laughs> it's a short film about some lunatic. About some crazy guy. <laughs> it's some about a guy shit we acting sucks. fake weird on the street. <laughs> All right, thank yeah. you, Connor, for coming on. Thanks for having me. It's of been course. a joy. Yeah, I texted Caleb and said the same. I said, this weather make me want to eat a, some good soup and watch a spoopy movie. And then I, t- I, and then I said, because uh, you text me something like this pretty much every day, <laughs> and I responded because I would. I you read I, the I text I sent you before that. Yeah, hold on. But I responded and I said slash SRS question mark. And it was I wanted, SRS. But why didn't you tell me that? Because I wanted to have a conversation about. Oh, because I was we trying to. I was trying to set up back here so that I wouldn't be on my computer all episode. Too busy to send one text. Mm. It was it was mm. pretty okay. Hectic so over here's here. what he said before this weather literally makes me want to eat good soup and watch a scary movie popcorn emoji. Before this, he said, "Bruh, what did I eat last night? My diarrhea smells so bad." Skull <laughs> laughing, crying, laughing emoji. Diarrhea, <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> and then before that, I said, "Bubes or badonka dunks," and he said, "Bro, her hair." <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. We okay. So the funniest thing about that, the my the the my mindset when I text this stuff is that we are coworkers, and imagine getting like imagine you work at a restaurant, right? And you're we like, basically you basically work at a restaurant. Yeah, pretty much. This is a restaurant. That so I'm here's in. another um, one. The room is like the wor- the best worst movie of all time. <laughs> So we're coworkers, and imagine you're at a restaurant and you give your coworker like your phone number because you like hung it, you smoked in his car or something yeah. one time, and then he just texts you this shit. Texts like, me the room of, like, is trying the... to trying to become like better friends with you. Yeah, the, and, the talking period, the talking yeah. period oh, with your coworker, the bro, talking period of coworker. I friendship. have been in a talking phase with every manager I've ever had. Never gone past oh, yeah. that, but they are me brutal. Too. Yeah. They are brutal. Hey, Did you ever get a nickname from your manager? Well, they're doing the talking phase, and they're like, hey, Kathleen called out sick. I need you to come at 8 a.m. To, to cover her shift. It's like, yeah, leave me alone, bro. <laughs>